Hi guys, welcome back to another video of your channel. So today we will be dealing about the nematode section that is veterinary parasitology. So if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. So today we will be dealing about the nematode esophagostomum. So the disease produced by esophagostomum is called as esophagostomosis. So all forms of animals except the host harbor esophagostom. There will be some amount of esophagostoma. It produces a disease called as nodule worm disease or pimply gut or naughty gut. These are actually the synonyms of the disease. So moving to the etiology part, in case of sheep and goat, mainly esophagostomum columbianum, esophagostomum venulosum, esophagostomum asperum, and in case of cattle, it's esophagostomum radiatum and venulosum. So venulosum is present in both large ruminants as well as small ruminants. Whereas in case of pigs, there is mainly esophagostomum dendratum and esophagostomum quadrispinutatum. So moving to the life cycle, esophagostomum species are generally host specific, but esophagostomum venulosum produces disease in both ruminants, that is small ruminants and large ruminants. So this is actually the life cycle, that is X will be present in the feces of infected animal. Sorry for the wrong spelling of the feces. There will be L1 and L2 stage and L3 stage will be infective and the infective stage will be ingested by the animal. Larvae will be invading the intestinal wall and then there will be nodule formation and there will be in the lumen, there will be inside the nodule lumen, there will be fourth stage and then there will be adult worm formation and there will be laying egg. Those eggs will be passed by the feces. So moving to the epidemiology, prevalence is highest in warmer temperature or subtropical climate with summer rainfall. Moving to the pathogenesis, there will be nodule formation in the intestine that will lead to anorexia and due to the erosion and the nodular formation of the intestine, there will be mucoidiarrhea and due to lesser eating habit, there will be leading to loss of weight and due to the loss of proteins and all that will lead to anemia and hypoproteinemia and eventually this can lead to death. So moving to the clinical findings, there will be dark green pieces and severe diarrhea in heavy infestation and in case of chronic cases there will be semi-sold feces with excess mucus and occasionally blood also will be there. Moving to the necropsy findings that is nodules found at all level of intestine that will be actually the nodules will be having the L4 stages of the parasite. Size of the nodule vary from up to 6 mm and may contain green pasty or yellowish brownish calcified material. Treatment as other nematodes, we can go for thiamine, so like 50 mg per kg, albendazole, and tetranazole. Thank you.